Tour players are the best in the world at hitting full shots pin high. Inside 100 yards, it's a completely different story. Why is that? Because it requires feel and touch. I don't have a specific drill or a shortcut to make you good inside 100 yards. It's going to take some hard work. I practice, oh, I've got a towel sitting out here right now at about 30 yards. I'm going to try to fly the ball onto that towel. I'll put one out here in a few minutes about 40 yards out or exactly 40 yards and then 50 yards out and 60 yards out and I'm going to practice that. And one of the, the ways I'm going to practice that is try to have a memory of what my swing feels like. If someone walks up and hits you on the shoulder, your body will have a memory of that feeling for about 15 or 20 seconds and that's it. Once you get to the point where you know what 30 in the air feels like, your body can have a memory of that. If I'm making a practice swing on tour and it looks like that, I'm not just making it for the sake of making the practice swing. I'm making it because I'm trying to evaluate through just practice and repetition if that swing is too hard or too soft or just right for a 30 yard shot in the air. Once I've done that, if I say that's just right, if my body has a memory of that for 15 or 20 seconds, then I believe I can repeat it. And so that's what I'm doing. There's no shortcuts to being good inside 100 yards. It's finesse. It requires a lot of hard work and a lot of practice. The one fundamental problem I see when players try to practice in that finesse zone is for some reason they want to just stay in one place. You still have to have a little bit of movement, a little bit of rhythm, and a little bit of a weight transfer in order to do it. But it requires hard work and practice. The good drill, if there is one at all, is just to hit balls to a towel 30 yards, 40 yards, 50 yards, 60 yards, 70 yards, and have build a memory in your swing so that you can repeat to those numbers.